Hi. Today on Math is Fun, let's enjoy learning about triangles. A triangle has three sides and three angles. The three angles always add to 180 degrees. Equilateral, isosceles, and scalene. There are three special names given to triangles that tell you how many sides or angles are equal. There can be three, two, or no equal sides and angles. Equilateral triangle: three equal sides, three equal angles, always 60 degrees. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides and two equal angles. A scalene triangle has no equal sides and no equal angles. Equilateral, isosceles, and scalene. What type of angle? Triangles can also have names that tell you what type of angle is inside. An acute triangle has all angles less than 90 degrees. A right triangle has a right angle, 90 degrees. And an obtuse triangle has an angle more than 90 degrees. Combining the names. Sometimes a triangle will have two names. For example, a right isosceles triangle has a right angle, 90 degrees, and also two equal angles. Can you guess what the equal angles are? All angles are less than 90 degrees. So this is an acute triangle. There is now a 90 degree angle, so this is a right triangle. And now there is an angle more than 90 degrees, so this is an obtuse triangle. And this is a right isosceles triangle. Perimeter. The perimeter is the distance around the edge of the triangle. Just add up the three sides. Add up the three sides like this, and you have the perimeter. Area. The area of a triangle is half of the base times the height. B is the distance along the base. H is the height, measured at right angles to the base. Area equals one half times base times height. The formula works for all triangles. Another way of writing the formula is BH over two. Example: What is the area of this triangle? Note that 12 is the height, not the length of the left-hand side. Height equals h equals 12. Base equals b equals 20. The area. Equals one half times the base times the height, which equals one half times twenty times twelve, which equals one twenty. The base can be any side. Just be sure that the height is measured at right angles to the base. Why is the area half of BH? Imagine you doubled the triangle, flip it around one of the upper edges to make a square-like shape. Then the whole area would be BH. The area BH is for both triangles, so just one is half of BH, like this. You can see that by slicing the new triangle and moving the sliced part to the other side, you get a simple rectangle whose area is BH. Now you can have a go at mathisfun.com forward slash triangle dot html. See you next time.